All right, in this video, we're going to initially set up our environment to make sure that we can attach the, the RPG system into our actual playing system. Because right now, if we play, we get our main character that's defaultly that's defaulted to the uh, engine. And what we want is actually to interface the RPG system into it. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete the starting spots. And what we're going to do is go in here to projects, map and modes. And down here, we want to change the default game mode to the RPG mode, which is just a game mode that I created inside of the plugins directory that just points all of the RPG system objects from the HUD to the from the HUD to the um, PC hero character to the actual RPG states so all that can communicate together and operate so now that we've added that, we see our PC hero, our play HUD, which is part of the engine that controls the HUD. We have the player controller hub, which is another part of the system. And then we have RPG states. So now, if we load in, we technically should not have, let me save this. We should not have a player because we have not defined one in the database. One other thing is this can't be running when you actually hit play because I haven't figured out how to disconnect the association, but when this is, when the database manager is open, it blocks access to the database file. I've gone through and I've made sure that I've actually closed all my connections. So somewhere there's a connection that's actually still open to that database or just this application in general doesn't relinquish the connection to the file so we have to close this and then we hit play to actually start and go into the engine so now i have a character here that's a pc hero i can move around but there's no character attached because we don't have any data in our information in our database so we're going to load back up here to the database tool I'm going to put this in another window. And I'm going to run this. We're going to go in and open our database. And make sure that's the right project. Open. I'm going to come in here and make a generic class. I'm going to call it test class. I'm going to give it some arbitrary stats. I'm going to start my attack in 8 kind of a medium defense, sort of weak magic attack and magic defense, give myself some vitality, up my magic a little bit, pretty good as accuracy and evasion. And if I battle myself, I can see how long it takes to kill myself, but this shows all your information for your default stats and things like that. What we need in here is we need the link to our blueprint class, which handles anything for our class itself. And I've already ported over the character information for from my example data. So if we go in here to our actors, well, actually our blueprint classes. These are the definitions of our class for the um, class data. And right now, the only thing that class data has in it is an actual link to our animation blueprint. And that's what the system uses to be able to determine that a person with an actor with this class uses this animation set to be able to, op to, be able to operate itself. And this one is actually for a fire sprite, but we so we don't want that. I'm going to get the one for the Gaia Fist, which is the main character that I had in the previous one. And all we're going to do is copy the reference. 
come up here paste it in and the only thing we need to do now is instead of using the actual name of the BP it's going to be underscore C for the actual class and it will scan and find this class within this directory when we get into the system by default the the packaging directory for the our actual RPG engine toolkit we'll use the RPG engine TK folder for scanning through and looking at anything that is that needs to be baked and we'll go more over that later when we actually go into the um, packaging process not baking process when we go into the packaging process I'll show that you have to make sure that you export this information because the way the unreal works is if you do not have it in a map it will not be baked out when you actually create your game and because this is an RPG where not everything will be actually used on a map like armors weapons and other type of information you have to tell it to force bake this directory to make sure that you get all your items out into the actual packaging so you can load that information dynamically later so I have my link for my blueprint class so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make an actor um, test guy now I need to link to his actor blueprint which is something similar to what we just did before so I'm going ahead to quote Tori get his config data copy that reference and if we look in the config data the only thing this is is it gives information about his body his dialogue images for dialogues or save um, save point image um, a battle icon as well as an icon for the the default party menu more of that later so I'll paste this in here add an underscore C for class and then give some extra attribute points for this particular actor so it can be different from the original class let's set the race let's set the class and I have no weapons to give him but it'll still get you a starting information so now we have a character now that we have a character that can that has a link for its actor and its class information and the starting level um we can go in here and go to the initial data and add him to the initial party once that's added we hit save and now we should be able to come in here hit play and I have my character and I can run around I have no clothes because I have no armor to wear so I am all natural And actually, if I go in here and actually play again, huh, I have an error. It's probably looking for something that's no longer here. Huh. I'm going to have to fix that. I'm not exactly sure what it's trying to do with this NPC character, but it looks like it looks like it's trying to do something with the event loader. Oh, you know what? The event loader probably got killed because our kill zone is actually activated for this new world. So I'm gonna change the kill zone to maximum negativity. Play this. Maybe I put my kill zone to the wrong level. Kills the I think I bort my kill zone. Kill zone none. 
I think this was negative 1,000 before. There we go. That kill zone can pretty kill some things. Bad joke. All right. So I'm trying to look at my time. I'll come back and figure out why this is being killed. Um, this is just a event loader. Anytime you come into a map or zone into a map for the first time, it's going to load an event loader. Um, pretty much a null NPC to use for a map loader to load any kind of opening events for the map. So, let me go back in. So now I have a character. I have a map. I don't have time because the time is controlled by the RPG sky. If I hit start, I should have my item menu. Again, my time played is messed up because of my lack of RPG sky, but I can go in here. I can see my test guy. I can go in and see that I have no equipment whatsoever. Um, it's just pretty much a blank slate. All these are default maps. I mean, default uh, HUD interfaces that come with the system. This can be easily switched out to whatever you want for your system. So let's fix a few things real quick. I'm gonna add an RPG sky in here. And set it to zero, zero. There we go. It's very bright. I think I have extra lights in here. I'm actually going to delete that real quick. Where are my lights? I don't need a skylight. Don't need post-processing. Light source, goodbye. I don't need this. And I don't need the sky BP. All right. So now we are in a very, very dark room. So if I drop in the RPG sky, bloop, everything's back to good. Reset this to zero, zero, zero. Save. Now if I play. Ah, my default time for the actual starting of, my default time for the time of day must, must not have been set because it's midnight. But now I have time. We have a day cycle that's going through right now, slowly. I have my menu. My time played should be corrected now, but it's not. I'll look into that as well. And I think I'm almost out of time for this video. A few things I wanted to show real quick. For those that want to use their own custom HUDs, in the default class for the play HUD, if we come down, we have our game interfaces. And that pretty much just links the, the default widget, HUD widget that we want to use for the different menu states. It sets it to the system so it can use, so it knows what to switch back and forth when the game is operating. Um, you're free to use the default HUD. It's not the best in the world. I just created something by default, but to each his own. And I think that's about what I'm gonna show for right now because I think I'm almost out of time and then I'll continue with something else in a later video.